Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the search at 2D Matrix 2 problem. So in the previous video, I showed you a similar problem that was search at 2D Matrix. But in this problem, there are some differences. So the main difference is that the rows are sorted and the columns are sorted. But in the last problem, remember that the first element of every row was bigger than the last element of the previous row. That's not the case here. So it says, write an efficient algorithm that searches for a value in an n by n matrix. This matrix has the following properties. Integers in each row are sorted in ascending order from left to right, and integers in each column are sorted in ascending order from top to bottom. As you can see, this is sorted and this is sorted. So how can we solve this problem? In this case, we cannot apply the same method that we applied to the previous problem using binary search to get logarithmic time. We could use binary search, but the time would not be logarithmic. We would have to go row by row applying binary search, but that's not the best solution. That's not the efficient solution they're looking for. So how can we solve this problem? If you make an observation, because the rows are sorted and also the columns are sorted, you can use a process of elimination. So let's say that you start the first row and the last column. That would be this element. And you're looking for target 5. Then you can say, okay, because the row is sorted and 5 is less than 15, I know that 5 cannot be in this column because all these elements are bigger than 5, so I can eliminate this column. So now I only worry about this, I mean, about this section right here. Um, so I can eliminate this column, I only have to consider this remaining section. So I'm looking for 5, and the 11 is bigger than 5, so it cannot be in this column either. So I can eliminate this column too. So now I only have to worry about these three columns. I'm looking for 5, 5 is less than this number 7. So I can also eliminate this column because 5 cannot be in this column. So now, I only have these two columns to consider. I'm looking for 5, and 5 is bigger than 4. So because 5 is bigger than this number, I know that it cannot be in this row, so I eliminate this row, and now I'm here. So now I'm looking for 5, and this is 5, so I return true. So the time complexity of this algorithm is going to be big O of n plus n, because um, we have n rows and n columns. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to do some null validation. So if matrix equals equals null or matrix dot length equals equals zero or matrix sub zero dot length equals equals zero, return false. If the pointer is null or if there's no row, no column, then return false. Then, um, as I said, I'm going to have to have two variables because I want to start at the first row and last column. So I'm going to say int row gets a value of zero. I'm going to start the first row. Int column gets a value of matrix sub zero dot length minus one. So I'm going to start the last column. So I'm going to start this element, first row, last column. Then I'm going to say while row is less than matrix that length. Okay, as long as I have rows left to consider, and call is greater than or equal to zero. So because I start at the last column here, then when I get to when I get, go past the first column, I know that I don't have more columns left. So as long as I'm within bounds, I'm going to continue the iteration. So as I said before, um, I'm going to check every time. If matrix sub row sub column equals equals the number I'm looking for, then I'm done. So I return true. I already found the element. Now, if matrix sub row sub column, if this element is bigger than the one I'm looking for, what does that mean? So if I'm looking for 5 
and this element here, 15, is bigger, all the elements in this column are bigger, so 5 cannot be here. So I have to eliminate that column. So how do I eliminate the column? Minus minus column, because that way I move the, the pointer here, and now this column is out of consideration. Now I'm not considering this column anymore. Else, if it's the opposite situation, let's say I'm looking for the number 16 and this is 15, so I know that 16 cannot be in this row because all the numbers um, are less than 16, so I can discard this row. How do I discard the row? Moving to the next row. So, plus plus row. All right. If I was able to break out of the loop, that means that I wasn't able to find the target, and so I return false. I'm going to run the code. Okay, it seems to be working fine, submit a solution. All right, so this is working perfectly. The time complexity is big O of m plus n, where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. Uh, please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.